Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing two figures and I'm excited for these because uh, these two figures are from the same series and they're of characters that I do not have figures of or like any merch at all of. And this like series is not super new but relatively new I want to say. Um, and ooh, it's so good. I recommend everybody go watch it because it's so good. But anyways, here we go. Here I am going to be unboxing the Chisato and Takina Licorice Recoil figures. And these are by Aniplex and they are one seventh scales. And not only are they one seventh scales, but they are cafe themed. And if y'all know me, y'all know I love cafe themed stuff absolutely adore it and then these are how the figures look look how freaking cute these concepts are are they not oh my god i think takinas comes with a bonus and you only get the bonus if you order from certain shops i want to say from what i recall and i ordered mine off hobby genki i think and i got the bonus and the bonus well, you're gonna have to wait and, well, I'll probably forget to tell you what it is, but it is her like poop shaped dessert. <laughs> um, and I have it. I'm pretty sure that was a bonus. I think it is. Let's get started. Please make sure you like, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And please make sure you go follow my Instagram to see photos of my figure collection. And without further ado, let's start. I think I'm going to start with um, our dear Chisato. A lot of people debate on whether Chisato or Takina are better and I just don't think they are comparable. I love them both equally. Initially I will say that uh, Chisato was my favorite but then I warmed up to Takina like so fast so now I can't really choose who's my favorite. Sometimes I'll be like oh Chisato is my favorite and then I'll be like oh I really like Takina. Now she's my favorite during like like while I was watching it during certain scenes and I'm like or certain episodes now I'm like Ugh. clearly I do not have a favorite they are both my favorite I love them equally I do want to say that I really did enjoy this series and I do recommend everybody go watch it but I do want to say that I got a little bit confused um at the ending I, I don't really and I don't want to foil, spoil it sorry I don't want to spoil it, but I don't really understand what the whole Chisato thing at the end was. I don't, I don't, I didn't get, I don't know how to ask the question without spoiling anything. <laughs> uh, I don't get the Chisato thing. <laughs> and if you do want to explain it to me, please make sure you put like a big spoiler tag for anybody else that's reading the comments. And then like, just make sure your spoiler paragraph does not show. Let's start off with the base. Oh, okay, the, this base, the shape is very basic because it's a circle, of course. I mean, can't get more basic than that. But um, the design is very unique. It's got this gradient and then uh, like a sunset gradient. And then it has the cafe, the Rico Rico Cafe logo on there. The reason why I think this is so unique is because of like, it's mainly because of the like print. Like it's very bold. Like this is the boldest print I have seen on a base with, with any figure that I own at least. But like, this is insane. I actually really like it. Uh, let's see though how it holds up with the figure on there. I'm sure it'll be fine. I will point out that I did notice Chisato will only be connected to one peg and she is, she does have like one foot lifted up. So I'm a little worried about that with how stable she's going to be on there. I have, I have figures that have no problem being on one foot, but my main concern is if she will fit comfortably in that peg because sometimes some figures only fit like loosely on there and then they wobble as well. Like I have a Naji set from Free Figure. Well, he's all the way back there. You can't really see him. You could probably just see his hand sticking out. And he stands on one foot and he wobbles. But then I have like other figures like I have this, uh, I don't know if you can see that. I have this Toru figure where she's on one peg, but she's like completely fine. She doesn't wobble, I don't think. And like she sits in the peg comfortably. Wow. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. 
I will save the rest of my comments for the end, but for now, wow. All right, so let's stick her on the base. She got on there pretty well. And she's snug, no wobbling. Perfect. Thank God. Okay. Um, next up, we have her dessert that she's supposed to be holding and serving to like the customers. It looks like, so this is wrapped in plastic, but it looks like the like one of the sticks. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Maybe Pocky or something. It poked a hole through the plastic, but it did not break, which I'm grateful for. Cause I feel like that piece especially could easily break. So it looks like she has the serving tray and then the dessert. And then I'm guessing this is like, I wanna say it's tea, but I feel like the cup is so small for it to be tea. I know that's how like the teacup shapes are, but like, I don't know. There are two holes there and then two pegs on her hand where you place the dessert. So this is how she looks all put together. I will hold my thoughts on her until I have Takina uh, out of the box and then we can kind of go over both of them as a whole. So before I pre-ordered these guys, I knew I wanted a figure of these two right after I watched or finished the series. And I saw there were like a bunch of options. <laughs> there was a good smile one where they're like, they're like holding their guns and everything and i liked that and i was initially going to pre-order that but then i saw this one and i'm like i love the cafe theme i love their cafe outfits they're like little waitress outfits and i think there's so much more like bubbly and cuter here and i just couldn't resist i thought these were like overall so much cuter and i think now that the good smile ones have been released I think people were having issues with it, so I don't really remember what the issues were, but there were issues. But yeah, I'm just like overall glad I got this version because I think it's so much cuter overall. All right, let's start off with the base, just like we did with um, Chisato's. Same round base, same logo. The only thing that's different here is the base is blue and this one actually does not have a gradient i wonder why that is i didn't really notice that when i pre-ordered it i didn't notice it on the um prototype photo uh let me actually see chisato's box oh yeah it's kind of hard to see on like chisato's prototype photo that there's a gradient but it's like there if you look really hard um takinaz doesn't have the gradient on her prototype photo obviously <laughs> but um yeah, I wonder why they chose the gradient for Chisato and not uh, Takina. I'm like trying to look hard, like, am, am I missing it? <laughs> like, no, it's not there, girl. It's all, it's still very bold and very nice. I actually do dig it. All right, so let's go ahead and get Takina out of her box. <gasps> this is Takina. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm trying to hold back my comments till the end, at least. This is uh, her dessert concoction. <laughs> that is a bonus if you buy from certain shops. I keep saying that without actually knowing if that's true. I'm pretty sure from my memory, it was a bonus. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But you know what I can do actually is I can see if this fits into Chisato's peg better on her fingers. Yeah, I, I doubt it, but let's give it a shot actually. Let me do that right now. Okay. So it actually did work. So there's something wrong. I guess the hole under the tray isn't deep enough for one of the pegs. So it's a problem with the dessert plate. But I think that is a sign that we should have Chisato holding this Takina's dessert and not her own. So I think we're gonna keep it at this. I also think it's so much cuter because I remember she didn't want Takina to feel bad so she started selling these and giving these out. So I think this is so much better. Okay, we'll keep it at this. So now we're going to put Takina on her base and she is not wobbly. She sits there very snug and look at her. Okay, so let's talk about these girls now that we have them all set up. They give me such bubbly vibes. One look at these figures and I cannot stop smiling. I think they are so fun and so cute. And I think they look exactly like they do in the series and they've translated their bubbly personalities and their very like aloof personalities in Takina's case 
so well and oh i just get such good vibes from these guys they are so cute i also really love how the color of their base matches their outfits their little uniforms i think it's so cute and it's such a good look i really do like the bold base i think i think the boldness goes really well with the bold colors of their clothes too so not just the shade of the color or like the color choice of the base but also the boldness of it and the intensity i also think like the boldness of the blacks also go really well with the like accents of their outfits and in terms of like chisato's base that has a gradient i think it fits really well with uh, her outfit as well in terms of again boldness but also like the apron the april apron reminds me of the lighter shade over here here um the lighter shade of the gradient and then like the darker shade or the more intense red shade would be her clothes up here these poses are also very very well done and well thought out it goes so well with their expressions and again translates so well from the anime and their personalities i do also really love how their poses are matching and you can see chisato has like this very alive very outgoing uh, personality and movement to her and you can see Takina's trying to resemble that even though she's more socially awkward I want to say awkward but yeah I guess she's socially awkward too sometimes but um but you can see she's also trying like she's still got her foot up she's got some movement to her she's so adorable speaking of adorable I think their hairstyles are so adorable I adore especially Takina's cafe hairstyle so much the pigtails are so cute and they're so flowy i love how they sculpted the hair so much i even love the little wisps of hair that are sticking out from the top of her head and also the back of her head at the bottom so cute same with chisato at the top of her head and then her little tied ponytail bun thing on the side i also really love the one seven scale size for these figures i think it goes so well with the concept i'm i'm really glad they didn't go smaller like a one eighth i think it would ruin these figures for me a little bit yeah this was overall done so well the only downside to these i think is uh chisato not being able to hold her other tray of dessert that well uh but i think other than that i think I think these are done really really well yeah there's not much else to say other than i love these girls so much and i'm so glad i could finally add them to my collection i can actually add them next to my miss kobayashi's dragon maid cafe uh one seven scale figures and they're gonna match so well because those figures are also the concept of them also has the characters in movement and they're also holding food and dessert trays and they're also on one seven scales just like these guys so they're gonna fit so well next to them i'm gonna have eventually a whole cafe themed shelf and it's gonna be great and beautiful and i'm so happy these are so cute these turned out so well um yeah definitely recommend highly recommend you get these figures and highly i do want to mention that i also and this is gonna sound so weird <laughs> But I do want to say that I really love how they like, how can I say that this without sounding creepy, but the way they shaped the bodies, you know, the, the bodies have like, you know what, I, I, I don't know how to say this without sounding weird, but yeah, the shape of their bodies, like, you can see how they shape their like legs through the clothing is so nicely done, you know, like, what, look at that. Like, oh my goodness, this is so well done. I definitely recommend you go watch the series if you have not and get these figures. I definitely recommend. They're so cute. They're so fun. I love them. Anyways, okay. That's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below. And please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And please like and subscribe. And again, follow me on Instagram. Maybe you'll catch a photo of these two together on there soon. Uh, and I will see you in the next one, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.